Morning, everybody. Well, as you can see, all the junk is gone from the table. We still got some uh, wood strips I hope to use for uh, flooring still stacked over here and some trim and other stuff over here in the fan. But uh, it's getting there. I don't want to show you where I stacked it all. It's behind me, but uh, got some slow blues in the background. Anyway, not trying to waste your time, just uh, <clears throat> letting you absorb some of the some of the tunes. It's pretty good. <clears throat> so we got to do a little bit of a little bit of work here. We got these wires hanging here. <clears throat> got to get those routed out of the way. Um, it's hard to see, but. You can see some funny reflection off the wall because of the texturing. And I think what I've figured out is you can buy that, uh, it comes in several different thicknesses, but usually around an eighth inch or a tenth of an inch thick. Um, it looks like plywood. Uh, Home Depot usually calls it Luan. And it's like 10, 11 bucks a sheet, four by eight sheet. So put a sheet here, a sheet here, and a sheet here, three sheets, and it would go up just above the screen here and hit this angle. So I'd have to cut one of them at an angle. But if I tack that up against the wall and then uh, fill, in the, fill in the seams between the three panels, I could paint it with, um, let me show you what a guy did here. Let's see if I can find it. This guy here, <clears throat> I don't know if you can read his name. His handle on YouTube is John Nob, N O B. And he came up with a, you know, he's done this a bunch of times. You know, I don't even know, maybe a hundred times, different um, combinations of reflective paint and, and flat paint, like this one here, for instance. 18 to one. So what it is, is 18 parts uh, metallic paint uh, that you can get at the, you know, hardware store, and one part flat white. So one part, if you, if you get a gallon of metallic and add seven ounces of white, you have his ratio. And he shows you um, staring straight at it, how, how nice his screen looks. And then when you move off to one side, he shows you what it looks like. And um, that's valuable because when you get ambient light from windows and other sources, you can kind of pick the type of paint and how it would react to these sources. Now, in my case, I got zero issue blacking out these windows. They're not done real well right now. You can see some gaps at the bottom, but they will be done very well here shortly. So I've blacked out these two and the one in that, um, what's gonna be my office at some point, I hope. So, That's okay with me. There's some windows behind me, but they don't wash out the screen. So, um, at least so far. I mean, it's January 2016. The sun isn't real bright in the sky these days. We've got lots of weather and stuff. So, um, 
we'll see how it goes later in the year. But anyway, um, it looks like we've got uh, at least something usable right now. And those three sheets, um, I've got a, a brad nailer that, that uh, holds 18 gauge brads and man, they are super fine. I mean, they're two inches long, but they're, they're probably the diameter of a sewing needle, you know, they're, <clears throat> they're real fine. So I think I could use that to tack the three sheets up and then fill in the edges, uh, the seams between them with something, make sure it's sanded real smooth and then paint it. And that way I end up with a movie screen quality wall. And then if I ever need to take it down, then I can just take it down. Those brads pull out, not real easy, but easy enough that it doesn't hurt the wall much. Anyway, that's, uh, that's an idea anyway. Anyway, it's, uh, Came out pretty nice, pretty happy with it. Gotta get a couch, all I got is a, my ancient, ancient recliner. It's beat to hell. So at some point I'll uh, find a good used couch and we'll slide this table forward a little bit and put a couch right here. And we'll have wonderful viewing pleasure. I don't really watch a lot of TV. Um, Mostly what I do is this right here, is YouTube. Um, I spend a lot of time with tutorials because this house needs a lot of work and there's a few things I don't know how to do. So, um, it's helped a lot. It's, it's amazing, in fact. I, <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised someday if they start offering college credits. Um, it's just an amazing resource. Anyway, basically just wanted to show you that all the crap's gone off the table. And um, I don't know where I'm gonna put that wood. It's not really in the way. Um, I got a whole bedroom full of it in the back and there's not really a lot of room for it, but maybe I'll just put it into new trash bags and take it back there so it's out of here. It's a good staging area to get stuff done too, so I I anticipate that this area in here will probably get used for various projects, but at least for when it's time to watch a movie or something, I can do it without um, too much crap in the way. The other day we measured the screen. I it, it varies a little bit because I've been having a hard time with this little laptop, what's left of it. It's kind of not doing so well. From about here to here, it's about somewhere 140, 150 inches. Um, running the video signal through my amplifier changes the size of the screen. And I spent a lot of time yesterday trying to figure out why that was, but it's definitely the amplifier, because if you hook a laptop straight to the projector, it doesn't do it. So it's the influence of the amplifier. And I I went through the settings over I'm like six or eight times and I couldn't find it. So the laptop's not uh, 1080 and that's part of the problem. But um, anyway, it looks good. It looks good enough. I don't know if in this video you can see the detail of the wall texture, but I'm pretty tickled with it. And it fits nicely with the speakers out of the way. And it's pretty cool to watch movies on. I've been watching um, PBS stuff uh, from Ken Burns. Just watched The Dust Bowl. It's such, such an amazing documentary. Unbelievable information. 
Most people have no idea what really occurred in the Dust Bowl. Far more, I think, than even they put in history books. Anyway, got some holes to seal in here. We've got um, some air leaks to the outside. I've gotten an awful lot of them, but there's still some more. And it's only January, it's gonna get colder. That's it for now. See you, bye.